Close your eyes and watch your breath all the way in, all the way out. We're trying to develop some good qualities in the mind here. That's what the word bhavana in Pali means. The word for meditation also means to develop. You're developing mindfulness, developing alertness, developing a lot of good qualities in the mind. You stay with the breath. Watch the breath, that's alertness. You remember to stay here, that's mindfulness. Then you think about your reasons for doing this. You want, you want happiness is harmless. That's an expression of goodwill and compassion for yourself and for other people. Because the mind, when it's trained, does bring happiness, and it does bring a harmless happiness. The untrained mind looks for happiness in ways that can cause a lot of trouble down the line, both for yourself and for other people. So as you take good care of yourself, you're taking good care of others. This is what the Buddha's teachings are all about, finding happiness in a way that's harmless. Finding happiness is reliable. So this is something good we're doing here, because so many people in the world look for happiness in ways that can cause a lot of trouble. We see it all around us. Most of the news is people trying to find happiness in their own devious ways. But there's nothing devious about the Dharma. It teaches that if you want a true happiness, you have to be truly good. Which is what we do as we're being generous, as we're being virtuous, as we meditate, develop these good qualities in the mind. It's a way of showing goodwill for yourself, goodwill for everybody around you. <clears throat> so it's not just an empty thought. It's something that shows itself in the way you look for true happiness. So we live in this world of aging, illness, and death. We want to find something that's reliable, something we can depend on, happiness that we can depend on. And this is where it's found. And that's when we found it, we share it with others. This way your search for happiness is not a selfish thing. It becomes a source of wisdom, it becomes a source of compassion, it becomes a source for purity as you try to be very careful about your actions and make sure they don't harm anybody. So this search for happiness doesn't have to be selfish, doesn't have to be hedonistic. It's something that's actually good for people when it's done right. 